If you're taking calculus this year, here's what you should already know how to do on your calculator. First, make sure your calculator is in radians mode. Make sure you know where to find common functions. A lot of functions get their own buttons, like sine, cosine, tangent, log, natural log, but others don't. Some functions are buttons, but you need to press second before you click the button, like the square root or e to the x. Others don't get a button at all. For example, absolute value is hidden in math num, right there. Make sure you can plot a function. On my calculator, you plug functions into the y equals screen and then press graph. You can change the view using the window menu or zoom. Visualizing the graph is helpful for lots of things, but especially finding intercepts. Here we can go second, calc, we're finding a zero. Click to the left, click to the right, enter, and there's our zero. This answer is also temporarily stored inside the variable, but you can save it more permanently using the store function. Just choose a letter and then store your variable and hit enter. Now, anytime you want this value, all you need to do is type the letter, alpha, a, Ta-da! But back to our graph. Make sure you can also find a max or min. Second, calc, maximum. Again, we just need a left bound, a right bound, and we're telling the calculator where to search. And then we have our answer. And you should also be able to find intersections of two graphs. To find this point of intersection, we go back to second, calc, intersect. Now mouse over to the point on the graph near the intersection. And there's our intersection point. And you can use graphs for questions that don't seem like graphical questions. For example, solving a complicated looking equation for x is really easy if you graph. Just move all your terms to one side, plot this side of the equation, and look for the zeros on the graph. In this case, there's one solution because we have one x-intercept. Similarly, you can solve a system of equations by plotting both equations and looking for any intersection points. Your calculator really is your best friend for calculus class. Just make sure you know how to use it.